Elephants, known for their intelligence, their memories, and their tight social bonds. Led by the matriarch, usually the oldest, most experienced female in the family, the core of the family is made up of related females and their calves. Bonds are strong among females of the herd and taking care of young ones is a group effort. Babies are safe to play with one another, watched over by the extended family of grandmother, aunts, and cousins. Nana is the matriarch of the family, brought over from Kruger National Park when she was young. She is the mother of one female, April, and two young bulls, Young Boss and Scoppy. Nana is the leader, and she makes decisions for the family, where they will go, when it's time to move on, and whom to trust. The family enjoys lunch, tasty branches and leaves, and a little playtime. Elephants spend the majority of their time eating, and adults can eat up to a thousand pounds in vegetation in a single day. Across the valley, Boss is also enjoying his lunch but he's alone. Amongst elephants, only one adult male is tolerated. More than one, and the bulls will fight, until the weaker one is expelled from the herd to live a solitary life while the stronger bull enjoys the company of the family. In this family, young Millennium is the current dominant bull, easily recognized by the shape of his right tusk, broken in a battle with Boss for dominance. Millennium won that battle and replaced Boss as the dominant bull. But how long will it last? Young Boss spars with his younger brother Scoppy, strengthening his skills and establishing his rank in the family. He grows stronger and larger every day, and the day may come when he will challenge Millennium for his place at the top. If he loses, he will be expelled from the herd by Millennium. But if he wins, it will be millennium whose time has come to live the solitary life. Until that time, millennium is the dominant bull. But he must stay on his guard. He may have lost the battle, but the war for a place in the herd is not over for boss. He's returned for a rematch with his rival. Millennium catches his scent and rushes off to face him and drive him off. Nana leads others away from the coming battle and to safety. Afternoon fades to evening and we're left to wonder who will win the battle? Morning returns to Scotia the cool mist gives way to warm sunshine, and the animals are getting on with their day. We find Boss on his own again, away from the herd, evidence that he's lost the challenge, and Millennium remains the dominant bull. The family enjoys their morning meal, but something's different. Millennium has isolated himself from the herd. He's in must. Must is a time of heightened testosterone in bulls, characterized by aggressive behavior and irritability. It seems Millennium's in need of a little alone time. 
But he doesn't go too far. He can't risk another attempt from Boss to rejoin the herd in his absence. He lingers at the fringe of the herd. How long can Millennium hold his position of power? Boss is still a strong and vital bull, not content to be without family or mates. Will his next attempt to overthrow his rival be successful? Or could his son, young Boss, rise up and stake his claim as the leader of the family? Only time will tell. <laughs>